And for more, let's cross to France 24's Chris Moore standing by at the presidential palace. Uh, Chris, is it uh, going to be uh, a bit of tinkering or a major house cleaning? Well, that's something political commentators uh, here in France have been feverishly speculating about for uh, the best part uh, of a week now. And the longer the wait goes on, uh, the more feverish that speculation becomes. It should be pointed out that Emmanuel Macron uh, is acting first and foremost out of uh, necessity in the wake of the departure of uh, Gérard Collomb at the Interior Ministry. Uh, not only a major job uh, in the government, but also a figure who really uh, symbolise what Emmanuel Macron has been trying to do. Cologne was a kind of grandee on the moderate wing uh, of the mainstream left, uh, the Socialist Party, one of the first major figures uh, to join uh, Macron's centrist uh, start-up uh, as he sought uh, election back uh, in 2017. But as you saw there, uh, that is just uh, one uh, of a series of regulations. Uh, the Environment Minister Nicolas Hulot went a few weeks ago. Uh, he has for decades been a high-profile public fi figure here in France and was also a pretty uh, popular one, the Ben Allah affair, uh, as you saw. And uh, Macron's approval rating standing now at just over 30 uh, percent uh, compared to over 60 percent uh, in the wake of his election. Uh, something commentators have been speculating about and something which Macron's MPs have uh, perhaps been trying to prepare the ground for uh, is that this is time for uh, a real reboot uh, of his uh, administration, which has uh, fallen upon pretty tough times uh, since it came back from the summer holidays. And he's, he's granted a couple of interviews uh, since uh, the end of those holidays, uh, promising that reboot. Any sign of it? Well, in terms uh, of the personnel it's, uh, of, of, uh, of a new administration, things are actually pretty uh, tricky uh, for the French president. First of all, he set himself uh, a number of uh, red lines in terms uh, of the people who are allowed to be appointed compared to what's gone in the past, much stricter uh, financial controls, uh, asking for parity on his cabinet uh, between uh, men and women. At the same time, uh, though Emmanuel Macron himself very much comes from uh, the, the establishment, uh, if you like, his party uh, is uh, relatively new. There are not many uh, experienced politicians in there, not many uh, big hitters. Uh, and as such, perhaps the pool of uh, human capital, as it were, on which he is allowed uh, to, is, is able to call, is uh, getting uh, ever smaller. And at the same time, he faces the, the dilemma which he has uh, from the start, trying to get people in from the mainstream right uh, and the mainstream left, and at the same time, uh, trying to, uh, to please uh, the centrists, uh, which uh, in this case uh, is not only his own party, but the Modem party, a centrist party which helps him get elected. They've been demanding uh, places on any new cabinet uh, as well. Uh, just one final point, we simply don't know how many new ministers uh, we are going to see. That remains very much uh, up in the air. Uh, the latest perhaps we will know is ahead, uh, as you said, of uh, that uh, cabinet meeting uh, tomorrow morning. He's keeping the prime minister, though. That's right. Uh, Edouard Philippe remains uh, uh, in his uh, job. He was here at the uh, Elysee Palace uh, uh, this morning. He then t went off to, uh, to uh, his own office, uh, followed by uh, the uh, French Parliament. In terms of procedure, uh, there have been some suggestion that if we were looking at a big uh, reworking of the French government, that would involve uh, Philippe symbolically uh, standing down, uh, then uh, being uh, reappointed. That hasn't happened. Uh, and as I said, um, we were talking just there about Gérard Colomb. Edouard Philippe is also a, a key figure uh, for uh, Emmanuel Macron. He abandoned his political family, namely the uh, mainstream right, uh, to, uh, to join Macron's movement. He's been a pretty loyal servant uh, as prime minister in a time uh, which Macron has had, uh, it has to be said, a bit of difficulty controlling the troops uh, in recent months. He remains, uh, remains a key figure for the president. Chris Moore reporting live from the presidential palace.